it going, little players? I am back on YouTube. I've been gone for a couple of while and had to do some filmmaking at school. I just created the Hassan documentary. If you haven't seen it, go check out my channel right now or in the link in the description down below it. So anyways, what I'm about to show you is a surprise that catches my attention is the orange Supra from the Fast and the Furious along with the Racer's Edge, Lightning, and other cars created by um, Just Driven on YouTube. Go check them out. The links is in down below and follow them. Also, Craig Lieberman is there. What I'm about to show you right now is the Orange Supra. So sit back and observe this look. So guys, I'm here with Daryl from Just Driven. How you doing, man? Doing good. Man. So why did you decide to build the Orange Supra? Uh, you know, just had a car laying around and had some extra paint. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, so this was with Craig. This was a deal with Craig Lieberman, and and I we had this idea to, to you know, Paul's an old friend of mine, and, and I've known Paul for years. And we thought, you know, it'd be cool to... to when did you know Paul for years? Since uh, the fourth Fast and Furious was released. Uh, so I knew... During the filming. Yeah, so so the, the Blue Skyline in that movie was my car. And, and so... Uh, yeah, so uh, now it was in Germany with GTA Munich. Right, right. My friend Peter owns that car, and it's actually going on auction soon. So uh, Bonham's is going to be auctioning that car very soon if you guys are interested. Um, so that's that's going to be a fun, a fun car to see. see so things, so how did you things. get all the parts? To well, you know, Craig, that, that that was all Craig. Craig helped us acquire all the original components, and that took forever. It took way longer than we expected. Um, but, you know, we were successful in, in acquiring all the correct parts, and, and it just slowly came together. It took some time. So, to be simple, when I was little, I first watched the first Fast and Furious when I was like five or six on USA Network for the first time watching it. And I kind of like the orange Supra and the green Eclipse. Yeah, they're really cool. We've got the, the Eclipse build going on as well. We're just, we're in the parts collection stage of that. Car. Yeah, trying to recreate the, 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 the yeah, real the, one the real that was one. created by right. John Lapid right. himself. Right, that's right. And, and so, you know, we're, we're working diligently on acquiring all those parts. And we're getting there. You know, so that's what we decided. One of the things we didn't want to do is tear into another restoration and not have all the necessary parts. So we're piling all the original parts for that car, and then we're going to do the build once we get the last piece. When I was uh, little, back in 2003, I first watched Two Fast and Furious. That's when I become a first uh, Fast and Furious fan. Right. My favorite one on the, in this movie is the Skyline that yeah, yeah. Paul Walker drove. The, the silver yes. one. So the silver one in Two Fast and Furious. Yeah. Yeah. So that was that was Craig's actual car. Uh, that was an R34 GT. Yeah, as long as the yeah. along with the Evo. Right. Uh, yeah, so the Evo, yeah, so that was Too Fast, Too Furious, and, and that movie started with Brian O'Connor, you know, in the street scene, yeah. driving the silver R34 GTR. Well, we are replicating of, that car as well. One of the original Evos is sold it to my friend Frank in France, okay. is the replica. Yep. At, that was previously owned by a uh, guy named uh, Henrik in uh, Norway. Got it, okay. And... Yeah, so, so and, as, of, and as, as long as the uh, uh, along with the the other Evo Evo Seven, uh, which is belonging to Rob Lipziger in Philadelphia. Yeah, so so our friend Neil Craig and I have a friend named Neil who actually owns the Hero car. Yeah, and that's in storage here in. in I California. saw this. I saw his car on Moto Trend on Google Images once. Yeah, it, it's Literally. been in, it's been stashed away. It's in. It's in storage and it's uh, it's been preserved. Um, it's in need of paint and restoration, but it's all original. Yeah, movie. A restoration. Yeah. Um, when I watch your Just Driven videos, does it does the Supra runs a little lower or higher because the higher stands look like it's a normal car? Yeah. So right now it's it's sitting. We have it raised up a little bit so that it won't rub the bumper. Yeah, the stunt. Well, like scratch the bumper. Right, right. You know, we want to. We don't want to cause damage to the to the rockers or the front bumper. You know, we had to, that's a kind of a one-off bumper we redesigned since you know the original Bonex body manufacturer kit doesn't doesn't sell that bumper kit. Anymore. Yeah, uh, like the original Supra, which stands a little bit uh, uh, a little lightly. 
you're, you're, so you're, you're talking about it, its stance yeah. is a little lower? Yeah. yeah. I so, just don't like to complain. Yeah, so the reason why it's not lower as it sits right now is it wouldn't make it very drivable. Not right. like a stunt car to make it look like much like a stunt car. The original stunt car was sold years ago right. uh, at auction. Right. Yeah, yeah. So it was one of those situations where we wanted to... We wanted to set it up so that it would, yeah. it would be, you know, it would hold up to the streets. Where there's a fun fact: the 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 original Supra, the orange Supra, was reused in Too Fast, Too Furious. Correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then was it was the, repainted again in an orange, and then it was sold all. Right. Now, it was sold to my friend Mark, yeah. who owns the black blue Maxima. I probably know more than I should about that car, but yeah, it, uh, uh, yeah, it was one of the stunt cars used. Right. And, and, and made to look like the original car. Yeah, yeah so this looks memorable. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, that. I simply, when I was little, I always wanted a, the Supra real bad. Yeah, they're, they're definitely a, a very iconic car. Yeah. So, without further ado, guys, let's take a look at the Supra.